Hey guys, Rooster Rattle back here for episode 4 of the Ryo Viocano save. And the first thing that we see here immediately is the first game against uh, Huesca away from home. Uh, not wasting any time here as we see that Juan Foyth is making his debut after we signed him from Tottenham two episodes ago. Uh, Huesca also promoted with Ryo Viocano last season, so that's why we gave him the shot in, at centre back. See if we can get the three points here. Is the only change that we could see is uh, Juan Foyth at centre back. As Quest could kick off here. The waiting is over. The first highlight falls to us. You're three minutes in. Through ball by Advin Kula finds Kakuta who runs down with his pace. Brilliant skill out of Bony, but just unlucky there. He couldn't really tap it in. As nine minutes gone and they and West could get their first chance, and that was a brilliant little uh, pass across goal, but brilliant defensive efforts by Edwin Kula to get it away. As there, Hernandez with the shot, and a brilliant save by Alberto. A double save by him to deny uh, Hernandez, uh, a guy on loan uh, at Watford, from Watford, to make it 1 0 to Huesca. As we go on the, on the attack again, Trejo. Finds Medran, who spreads it out to Moreno. Moreno inside the box, and, Mor and Medran tries to have a go. And Medran already with um, a goal this season, and a brilliant performance in the Pre International Cup. We see the ball whipped in. The header is won, and it's a goal by Trejo. I was about to say, as 42 minutes in, we take the lead right before halftime away from home. I was about to say, Medran started the season amazingly here in the European International Cup as well as La Liga, but another player who started the season amazingly is our number 8 Trejo, who scores his second goal after scoring against Atletico Madrid in the last episode. As he's got his second goal in three games from center midfield, Acapo couldn't get the ball cleared off the line, and the goal will be counted as his, as I receive Velasquez celebrating with him. The goal will be his, as he gets his second goal of the season in the 43rd minute, the number 8, Oscar Trejo, as they kick off again. And that will be halftime, I'm pretty sure, yes. So that will be the end of the first half. Signal Nothing the really, but a lot of attack by us, a lot of possession by both teams. And now, and, and, and going to the halftime, it was 1-0 to us. So we we knew that the second the second that the second half started, we had to come out of the uh, out of the barracks strong uh, immediately. To begin that second half, because we don't want Wesker to get back into this game, and that's exactly what we did. The second half started, and a brilliant little uh, skill there by Medran to find Trejo into Moreno, the left back. Trejo who scores the first goal, finds Imbulo, finds Medran with a brilliant little uh, fake, who finds Vicula, finds Kakuta down the line, who beats his man for pace and strength, whipped the ball in, and there was, I think it was Medran, if I'm not mistaken, no, it was Moreno, our left back, sorry who started the move, technically, who scored his first goal of the season. He's one of the players that prioritized this season is, this in this series. I didn't want to sell him. I was very reluctant to sell him in the summer. as a brilliant header in the top corner. Hits off the post. No chance for the keeper, as you see from this angle. I was very reluctant to sell him in the summer because he's one of our most important players. I mean, I saw him in real life when Rabbi O'Connell played. I don't remember against two, but he... The, he the number seven really caught my eye when I saw Ray Bio kind of play. Obviously, as a newly promoted team, he really showed that he was one of the special players. So I'm really reluctant to sell him. He's pretty young, 25 years old. He's at his prime, so let's see if we can maybe grow him. And, and at the end, maybe if he's not going to hit that 80 mark that we're trying to achieve with most of our players, we might uh, need to sell him at the end. But for a high fee, as there we see in the 61st minute as I'm rambling on, Brilliant play there by Ray Vallecano, and Brahim Diaz with the acrobatic pass to Medran, but we thought that he missed the one-on-one, -on -one, but it was actually an offside to spare his blushes, and the on-loan keeper from Atletico Madrid, Axel Werner, uh, saved it, but it was offside, so it didn't really count. And then we came back here, 62 minutes in, dressed up to the offside, Kakuta with brilliant piece of skill, finds it back, and Medran with an overhead kick, our second overhead kick of the season, and we, have, we already have two overhead kicks competing for the goal of the season, and Medran, just as we said at the start of the episode, started this campaign, as well as the European International Cup, on form. Look at this from this angle, Kakuta, absolutely amazing. He has been absolutely terrific, as Roy Hudson would say, down the line, absolutely sensational. Look at this goal by Medran. You see from every angle, the keeper should have been doing better. But look at how celebrating in the touchline there. 
Brilliant goal by Medran with the acrobatics, but what a play, what a move by Kakuta, who has been looking the most crucial player for us this season down the, down the wings. As Weska need a restart here at 3-0, as we look to do some damage, more damage further on in this game. 72 minutes, Alberto spares our blushes as we saw up Medran, who, who gets off to a standing ovation by the crowd, and Mark Roca will make his appearance after signing, after we signed him from Espanyol. Mbula, look at this, back by Mbula, our center defensive midfielder, goes on a long run, fake shot, after the 1-2 without anything, Kula, and off the bar, almost the top corner, Wilfried Boney trying to get the header, or Wilfried Boney, trying to get the header up, super close there to make it 4-0, 82nd minute though, Longo whips it in, but look at this stream of play, this is why I'm continuing this on, they had a chance right at the other end, super quick play, they went for a corner, let me see the goal line decision system, as it says there was no goal balls. The reason that I'm continuing this replay, because this replay just didn't end. The, the game was back and forth, and you'll see why. As the goal decision system says no goal, the goal on technology claims no goal. It was obvious on the second. But look at this from the corner. Just after we hit the crossbar, 84 minutes in, they whip the ball in. There's a bit of pinball in the box. It's cleared back into them. Then they play it back again, and they play it into Musto. Musto, a little lucky there that we didn't get the ball cleared and Juan Camilo Hernandez the guy alone from Watford who I am looking to get uh, honestly after his loan spell ends here at Quest because he's a very good striker with a lot of potential I think he has 83 potential or something and he's very young 20 year, 20 year old striker and he has a lot of um, variation in statistic in statistics sorry as uh, he scored with his left foot into the top corner, a brilliant consolation goal for the Cuesca fans. He's he is away from goal with his left foot. Look at this for an absolute beautiful strike. No chance by Alberto, and a brilliant goal. I find that this year it's actually a lot easier to score top, uh, goals in the top corner. And that one is certainly one of them in 86 minutes, but certainly a consolation goal for Juan Camilo Hernandez, who scored his second of the of the season. As this is the reason why I kept this uh, bit of clip going because exactly after they scored exactly after we hit the crossbar we come back on the counter attack and Mark Roca there finds Wilfred Boney back to Moreno back to Wilfred Boney back to Mbula back to Trejo a back heel to Kakuta's one with the goalkeeper and just as I said with the top bins we score one just exactly after the restart as Kakuta dabs I don't know why I chose to do that celebration, but Kakuta has started the season also an absolute flames. Look at this back heel by, by, I think it was Treo, who's absolutely sensational. Treo, Medran, and Kakuta starting the season off absolutely spectacularly. And Kakuta scoring into the top corner to make it 4-1, saying to Weska, anything you could do, I could do better. And a cheeky dab celebration there by Kakuta, who gets his first goal in the Liga. But he's absolutely been crucial in all of our build-ups this season. As we made our last substitution there, Brian Diaz came off as well. I think it was Wilfred Boney who came off. And I think that that's what made the Locked game. I think that's, the that, that was the end of the, the game. Yeah, that was the end of the game. 4-1, the, the final score away from home. And you can see how I, I think how you, you could see how you think I would feel after this win. Juan Foyth also starting at center back, doing a spectacular job, although we conceded one goal, but 4-1 away from home against another newly promoted team is a very impressive victory. And it's exactly after that, we came back at home in the Stadio de Vallecas to face a very informed defensive uh, Alaves, who, uh, in comparison to the last game, were newly promoted last season, but this is amazingly really have to stay up in, uh, uh, last season. But this season, they started off in the game very strongly. As there we could see... Uh, two weird signings by uh, De, uh, by Deportivo well, Alaves. They signed Jack Wilshere and Amazon Max Meyer. Two new transfers in real life, but they somehow managed to find their way in Alaves. Wilshere's career in this game really tumbling down. First uh, chance came to Alaves, as Wilshere's at number 28. Uh, first chance came to Alaves, brilliant. And then the second chance came to Oscar Kuto after a brilliant skill there. Kakuta whips it in, but the header comes to no avail. And then in 18 minutes gone, we have Brian Diaz's brilliant skill to lead his player in the ashes. But then a volley by Medran a couple minutes after the first out that we saw. But that also came to no avail. So two early chances, uh, uh, back to back. And there came a chance by Alaves. They missed. They got a corner. And then this strike from long range Max by... Meyer. 
Mark Roca is what made the first half basically well, very boring, time. but uh, not many chances. Nil -nil very hit. tame efforts. But both teams played a lot of possession. You know how we like to play here in Rio Vallecano. A lot of possession to get uh, to have slow build up to get to goal. It Second half started such a wet just day, immediately and it's been after that. Through half -time as well. And the first just highlight to see how much the drops pitch can take. to us as Adikula picks up the ball. He finds Kakuta in yards of space, and we've seen this so many times and times again this season. You don't give that man this much space. He finds Wilfred Boney, but the man on uh, right for the goalkeeper, you might be able to see, blocks its shot from beginning from Wilfred Boney getting his second goal of the season. Look at this. I don't think it would have made any difference, though, the guy with the four-star or weak foot, because I think that would have gone in anyways, besides the point. But look at this. 75 minutes in, and the ball drops exactly to Wakaso. Who makes it a goal of a rival kind of nil? Alaves won against the run of play, but I was about to say, uh, with that chance of Wilfred Boney, his force a weak foot, but that shot was very tame by the striker. He really should have made a, a bit more threatening to the Alaves goal, but never mind that. A couple minutes later, they go in the other way. Look at this. And also, another thing I've noticed in this FIFA the ball drops the defenders in, uh, to the strikers if it's our strikers or their strikers so many times. And I don't know, because the defense just switches off as the ball just drops. And it drops, one of the times it drops to the opposition player. And Mubarak Ocaso gets a goal and and uh, does exactly that. As Wilfred Boney gets up in the 76 minutes because we, we needed a bit something different. Wilfred Boney wasn't really offering anything this game. 76 so the first minute, goal is 1-0. Um, Tomas comes in, the guy on loan from Rabbi Kano. As he gets another chance at the 80th minute, exactly again. The ball drops to them. The strike was not far from the uh, from the top corner, but they couldn't find it as the 80th minute uh, came. And then we made a defensive error. Look at this. A defensive error by us. Borja Basso and the guy former of Swansea came on one-on-one -on -one and almost made it 2-0 with this time with hitting the, the woodwork. That really threatened us there. Uh, that was definitely game over if that would have gone in. And Brian Diaz went through, shot the ball. I think it hit off. Trey or Medron, I couldn't really tell. But the 91st minute out of 92 in the stoppage, look at this for drama. Ball in by Kakuta and De Tomas with a scrappy effort just in the last seconds of the game. Look at this for TV drama, ladies and gentlemen. The gallon for Rava Litsawa keeps the ball, still manages to poke it through the center back, the unrunning center back, and the unrunning goalkeeper. The goalkeeper just gets a tip of it his toe, but it scrambles its way across the line. To make it 1-1 one, one, as the home fans uh, will, leave the, the, will leave this game with a point, and happily so, better yes, than uh, zero points, level, but still. Sides of school. The side of the Akas has been proven our home ground to not be a well, fortress, the final whistle from the referee. more uh, the a storage ground for other opponents, a storage, uh, storage ground for points for, for other opponents, but it doesn't matter here. We came out with 1-1, one, one, four points in our two games this episode. Will it change here in the San Sebastian Stadium as our, our, our first episode of three games? The most assists in the league. With the top so assist far. after I said he started the season sensationally, the number ten, and four assists and a goal. But I've got to say, we're also seeing that they are hosting us here at home, and uh, so first episode here with three with three games. Will we be able to get two wins for the first time in this series? We'll have to just wait and see. But that was a very strong Real Sociedad side. As it's an unchanged side for uh, Raya Fayacano. As it is Real Sociedad who kicks us off in this game off here in San play. Sebastian Stadium. 14 minutes in. The first chance falls to Real Sociedad. As they go through a one-on-one, -on -one, William Jose hits off Alberto and hits the post. Alberto's made some terrific saves this season. Absolutely sensational. As again, this was cleared out the line by Alberto, by Moreno, sorry. And I was about to say, as Mbulo will clear this ball away, Alberto, who's only 74 rated and he's 33 years old, has made some absolutely terrific saves this season. As we count to it with a chance here by Wilfred Bonis, we'll, we're about to see the replay as he looks for his second goal of the season. Uh, how unlucky was he? Look at this with this terrific technique. It hits off the chest of the defender and goes over. But I was about to say, absolutely sensational by Alberto. It's, it saved us out of uh, no man's land s at least seven times this season. Uh, brilliant performances by a 33 year old I never expected that I was looking for a, a keeper but he's definitely taking the role of number one 
as the, we as we hit we hit the ball in the corner. It was caught by Jordan Maruli. They went on the other side, and Real Sociedad took the lead here. Twenty-seven minutes in, a brilliant combination by Yusuf Poulsen, the striker, and William Jose, the former Real Madrid striker. And he does no mistake there of finishing it in As in the top the corner off the post and make it second goal of the season, make it one nil. At 37 minutes in, they get their second chance of the game. It's Yusuf pulls it on the ball, finds William Jose, but he blazes it past the post. As 44 minutes in, one minute before uh, halftime, they get the advantage here as it was whipped in. But Alberto with Fishing a calm save, and I think that was the yeah, that was the end of the first half. We find ourselves a goal referee. down again. The uh, going into halftime, it's been quite a theme for us ever since Athletic Bilbao and uh, the first game against Sevilla, finding ourselves a goal down. But will we be able to come back and here? We've got another 45 in this game? minutes to go. Ever and managed uh, to come back to win we a game? Will this be our first? Let's just wait and see. 46 minutes in, we get the first tie. Let's get Kuta on the ball. Cuts inside. The guy who got a goal the game before goes with his left foot, but the defender gets a block. And then Kakuta tried to go on the rebound, but couldn't. Jordan Maruli caught it as he sent the ball away. We get the ball back here by Wilfred Boney as we, we look for a second chance. It was Medran who was through. Could have had a bit of space as I took that shot on and looked for his third goal of the season. But uh, I thought that the, there were three defender, oncoming defenders. I didn't think I would have enough time. He doesn't have an, a lot of pace. And a brilliant save by Jordan Maruli to tip it for a corner. And then Jordi Amat with a header off that corner. And look at that for Jordan Maruli with a save. And then look at this mistake. 57 minutes and on the other end. Alberto. I was giving him praise. But I, there's one thing I don't understand about this uh, Raya by O'Connor side. As I, as I played from, I tried playing from the back a couple times and it worked. And against uh, smarter opposition, smarter AI... Of Real Sociedad, the higher rated players, it was clearly Yusuf Poulsen was going to read at some point and we're going to concede from that, from an error like that. I've made errors like that a couple of times in this in this series, but not fail errors. This turned out to be a fail error. As we give the ball over to Alberto, we gave so much praise. Yusuf Poulsen gets his first goal in the Liga as Wilfred Boni sub him off again for De Tomas as we look for an impact sub. I don't know. Is there a way, guys, we can change the tactics to, to make it more suitable so the players won't start so far away from goal kicks? Because I've been seeing that to be an Coming issue in other teams, because I've been playing FIFA with other teams. I haven't seen that as a reoccurring issue. So is, that, is there any way that you could change the tactics so your team doesn't start so far from you when you take the goal kick? That'd be cool to know. As 66 minutes in at Vincula, our right back, who's been sensational this season as well, finds Kakuta who's been the man of the moment so far, whips it in back post, and look who it is who gets the goal, 67 minutes into half the deficit, as we don't we don't let ourselves get knocked out, we say, no, 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 we're coming back in this game, the ball's whipped in by Kakutos, that's four assists already, and look who it is at the back post, off the brilliant cross, it's Brian Diaz we, start, we signed in the summer, and the youngster, the 17-year-old, 18-year-old, Gets his first goal for Ivar Cano and off a header with well, the shortest guy on the pitch scores an open header and gets his first goal in the 68th minute to have the deficit. Now the question is, can we come back to make it 2-2 or or 3-2? Uh, We're about to see. As the next round comes to us in the 79th minute, uh, Janielli and Bula finds Brian Diaz, the man of the moment, who runs. No one can catch him. The ball there whipped into Kakuta and Kakuta who's been an absolute superstar in, in this uh, episode and in this series so far, with an assist by Bram Diaz, says, thank you very much, I'm going to repay the favor, Kakuta. Whips the ball into him, he's free, he's leaping like an absolute salmon, and fi finishes it past John, the, the, the scurrying hands of Geronimo Rulli, as he couldn't get anywhere near that there young Argentinian goalkeeper. And Kakuta gets his second goal of the season, as well as five assists, seven... In, uh, seven um, uh, goal scoring opportunities he has been involved with, not in total, but that have, have uh, led to something. And uh, in this season, for a, for a struggling team or a potentially struggling team and a, a newly promoted team, Counting it's very helpful to have such a player. The very the early 90 on. Minutes, nine minutes left. Kuta is surely is, is, uh, is uh, very much looking to mold into that Lose type his of possession. player. As that was the end of the game, That's two it. two Level it ended between the two teams. Has and a very, finished. very tight All game square. that was, but we earned another point.
So in total, we have five points in this episode as we as we're about to see here. We fin- we, uh, as we come to the end of the episode. We finished tenth, which is brilliant. But that'll be it for the end of the episode. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, episode. It's been me, uh, Rooster Well. You be. I hope you guys will enjoy the next episode. It's gonna come soon. Uh, thank you guys and peace out.